All right. So, greeting every day. Hello to all of my violin students. All right. So, I hope by now that you have all uh, made your uh, Make Music Cloud account. By next week, I will be looking over what uh, <laughs> each of you will play in the ABR and Violin Initial 2024 play. Right? As we talk about before, there are three letter grades in the ABRSM from A, B, and C. And in each letter grade, there are three pieces that you can pick from. And I hope you've been able to look over the list. Uh, but um, over the next month, we should all I'll be able to I'll find a good piece for each of you to play. But for uh, this video, uh, we're going to go in order from a list A. And here uh, we have the A2 old timer uh, that's the title of the uh, list A2 piece so wait a bit okay so here uh, we have uh, the A2 piece in front of us but uh, before we start playing it. Um, let's do a bit of a warm-up. So, or two, uh, practice a bit before we do this piece. Oh. Here. <laughs> hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was from my English class, but oh, we are doing an English based exam, right? Oh, when oh, we take our ABR exam, exam remember that oh, the acronym really stands for the Association British uh, of British uh, Royal Schools of Music. Right, so this is really a British oh, exam based in the UK. But here, when we first look at our piece, we uh, can see that the key signature indicates that it is in the key of D major, or meaning here in my car, oh, credit to oh, the violin inspiration um, website oh, for the a really handy um, scale guide. And oh, there, oh, you notice that there are uh, two sharps in D major and Oh, the notes in that key are there oh, after that mm, icon with the eighth note or oh, namely they are D natural in natural then the first sharp is F sharp so from F natural you raise it up a half tone then he a, B natural, and the second sharp 
and C sharp. So you erase it up a half tone up from C natural to make it sharp. Right? These are our two accidentals. Mm, I'm sorry, two sharps <laughs> in our D major scale. Right? Oh, there are no accidentals here in the A2. So to uh, practice the D major scale, uh, first I hope oh, you were able to tune your violin, always make sure it's in tune before, oh. mm. or while you're warming up, uh, so that you can I'll get the note mm, right and in pitch right, so that you know that you're or playing the right or wrong notes while you're warming up. What's important through the warm up is oh, that you learn how to practice well. Right? Learn how to get it right. It's okay to get it wrong, but it's better or to keep learning from what you got wrong so that oh, you can improve or you can get better a bit every time right oh, you know um, what they say or that oh. Oh, in the range between oh, the hare and the turtle oh. The turtle will oh, won the race, right? So slow and steady wins the race, right? You don't have to oh, get it right every time. You just need to uh, keep at it, uh, keep practicing, and more importantly, to uh, know how to practice well. So uh, you know what to do here in your practice, or what to or focus on, right? So here, in the D major scale, we can start our warm-up by first uh, putting our bow on the third string, D string, and then Oh, we don't have to follow the guide exactly, but for our warm up, why don't we try a long note on the tonic? So oh, we know our home key. So oh, let's try it here, and oh, we have a count off. Uh, to our uh, time signature of 4-4, four, four. why don't we just uh, take it nice and steady, right? So, 1, 2, 3, and long note. Streams at the same time, we don't want that here. Okay, so there's the right angle. Now we're on the open A. First finger, E, and then mm, second finger. Oh, is 
a step above the first finger. Here we have C sharp. And then back to the home key and octave higher. D. So that was a one octave D major scale. So again, why don't we just play through it with a long note on the home key like so and to play oh, the D mm, again well, after you get oh, to the end so again let's go back down this time without stopping. So, here's the D major beginner scale on violin. So, one, two, three, and long go. Back again. Oh, that one octave D major scale, but for um, the higher level students, oh, you can try a two octave D major scale. Oh, you can start to learn how to shift on your violin, oh, like from first position to the third position here so if you're offer a challenge also like from the top you can do long note okay then let's go another octave above open E Remember the F, first finger was sharp. And then from E, first string, sharp, O, G, close together. But here, oh, if you can, or you can practice shifting to oh, the A here. But instead of it being on the third finger, we will use our first finger to shift uh, to uh, the A to finish our second octave on the D major scale. So like here again. Run key. Um, so, for the shift, try to gracefully and slowly glide your finger to the A and make sure that it is in you. You can check if it's in tune by checking the open A string and then playing oh, the uh, A, D, 
the on the octave higher. Oh, so that is a bit high. So that's okay. We can mm, adjust our finger to see if it's just right. So there, that's about right. Okay, and then well, we can continue from A. And then, E, natural, oh, oh, farther from A, and then, here we also have a C sharp, and then close together, E. Then you can go back down, okay, close together, third finger, far apart, and then far apart, again. Okay. Then you can slide your first finger back down, and then oh, make sure your first finger is down there for the guy. Where so you know where to put your second finger. Oh, your D major scale. Oh, I can warm up for the A2. Right. So, now that we've got our D major scale down after warming up, preferably for about 15 or 30 minutes, or just of practicing of that scale or before we get to the E2 old timer piece. So here let's try it out first. Let's get to know of the Basic of what of the P will require. So, from a looking at or the first <laughs> measure there, we should already know that the A2 is in the key of D major. Remember that in D major, there are two sharps. There is F, Fa sharp, and C, Do sharp. And our time signature is in 4-4, four four, or common time, right? most of the work that we will be playing here in for the ABR assembly will be in common time. So, so you don't really need to worry about that as long as you I'll keep a steady beat and a consistent <laughs> pulse or like your heart a beat. Mm, regularly uh, to uh, keep you alive or uh, keep your blood flowing you need to keep a regular beat in order to play the beat well right but if it is out of time out of beat mm, it won't sound quite good. It's like if your heart <laughs> um, skips a beat, mm, there's probably something off of you, right? That would be called arrhythmia or a palpitation. We don't really want <laughs> that kind of thing to happen when we're playing unless it's pointed out in the beat. 
right? That would be called off the beat, right? Or off beat. But here there is no sign indication. So here we will play as it's intended and as it's written. Okay, so here in the A2, we will play it. Uh, a moderate tempo this should be at 108 crotchet or quarter note per minute right oh, that's indicated by the tempo there which you can adjust and make sure so that your count off here is that four or to match both the time signature in the P. So we can change that accordingly. Or if it's different, oh, it goes from one to twelve, right? Up for here, we will use four. To count off four beats before we start playing. So here. Right? Oh, I hope that uh, you all have been able to um, log into your Make Music Cloud. So this will serve as a quick tutorial for you to learn how to fiddle with it. I also am trying to figure out what's going on here. But, oh, right, there are several buttons on the user interface. Right, from the top left to here, let's uh, look at those first. There should be an accompaniment, hopefully, in the future. But there can be an accompaniment or backing track or that you can use in order but to have more fun with this right so that you have um, something to back you up uh, when you play per usually it will be a piano um, in a midi file uh, that would um, be there and here you can play on my part, right? Your part uh, on the violin as um, a midi file. Or oh, that will um, give you a guide as to on or how to uh, play your part on time and in pitch right if we can try to play it here or we can play it with a play button there uh, in a bit but lastly we have a metronome in order to uh, keep our beat steady we can ah uh, increase and decrease the volume here accordingly Right, or depending on your preference. Mm, when or you're starting out a new work, like mm, when or you're picking out the right piece here in the ABRSM, you should have a metronome in order to guide uh, your mm, beat. Right, to keep you at a regular beat for that or you get used to it while you're playing and uh, um, while you're practicing you should be practicing with a metronome and um, by the end when you're ready to perform it you should be ready to be able to play your piece without a metronome and oh, keep the regular beat 
on your own if I, oh, you would have been able to uh, mm, keep it in mind or oh, remember or oh, the mm, regular beat oh, that you were practicing mm, at with your metronome okay and then oh there we have the subdivision it's a bit of uh, an advanced feature right so when we're keeping time we can actually divide it further when we're playing the subdivision here why don't we test it out without the subdivision we'll play it one two three four that's the count off one two three four one two three From here again, uh, before uh, our part play, why don't we try that again and uh, we try to follow along. So, cut off, I'll uh, give it here, one, two, three, four, and click play, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, to repeat and indicated by the repeat bar okay and then why don't we try it with a subdivided part so when we subdivide something here in 4-4 four four, you would mm, divide the quarter note beat further down you would break down the quarter note into two eight notes uh, instead of one, two, three, four, or oh, you would add, mm, and, uh, and, or oh, to indicate for the off beat between the regular beat. So, for example, why don't we try it from the beginning? Oh, it will sound like this first we have our count off one two two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and 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 one and
or need to do that, but or you can just do it in the normal four four time. Okay, so here, why don't we try playing uh, the old timer without uh, the my part playing, and uh, we will play along uh, to uh, the P on our own. So here we go. Oh, you can play along with me. And oh, let's oh, try to oh, learn our part. Okay, so here we go. Right, again, remember we are at 108 crotchets per... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. So, it's not it's not mean per minute. Oh. Or, all right. It's rather indicate. Um, how many a crotchet beat? Well, at or at in a minute. Let's make sure. Okay, <laughs> we can just look that up. Okay, so, what? Alright, it does mean BPM, right? So, just make sure here, right? We have the Google to help us. That, uh, tempo marking does indicate the beat per minute, okay? So 108 crotchet beats per minute. Oh, you can even oh, look up a metronome here. Oh, great. We have YouTube Music. Oh, so you can play mm, a metronome over here, or if you want to. <laughs> right? Oh, what a time to be alive. Okay, everything's on the internet. Right? It's okay to be wrong. We have the internet to tell us if we're right or wrong. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's play along to our part or you can play with me let's try the A2 first count off get ready are you ready? okay let's begin count off dynamic marking there remember that in the beginning you are to play at mezzo forte mezzo forte means mm, at a volume between loud and soft right so at an average volume when we can look that up yeah so <coughs> when we say mezzo it means here half or moderately in a moderate volume as indicated in a dynamic marking on sheet music Okay, and then <coughs> when we say forte, right? Wow, this is Latin, right? 
or originally it was. So in English it just means hmm, strong. Right? And as a musical marking it indicates that you would play loudly. Okay? I a musical direction there, okay? Right? Like, example sentence. The figure in the bar should be played forte. Okay? Oh, you should play it loudly. But when we combine <coughs> those words... Oh. We don't want to find out the Hindi meaning of that. Though I'm sure they also <laughs> have their own word for that in Hindi. Uh, so, when you say mezzo forte, right? Oh, if you remember, mezzo means half, moderately, and then forte means loudly or strong. It could be literally mm, meant to be played at a half loud volume, right? Or half loudly, or, right? with medium loudness, right? It's a musical direction, okay. All right, so rather than Latin, now, and the international uh, music language we use now, it is in Italian, which was from Latin, okay? So, oh, you should all Try to be more familiar with your um, ABRS and uh, musical terminology. Well, I recommend that you take uh, the ABRS and theory exam so that uh, you can be more well acquainted with the international musical language or terminology. Okay, here we go. So now, one more time, without our accompaniment, let's play with the indicated dynamic marking. Uh, why don't we start a bar before we come in, okay? Okay, are you ready? I'll play it now. Okay, one bar count off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there I just added some extra notes to make it a bit more fun. You don't have to do that. I'll just try to stick to a white writing on the beach. But here, let's play along with the backing track. There, I will put the link for you in the Google Classroom. Oh, and oh, you can play along with it while you're practicing. But here, let's try it together with the backing track from the beginning. So here is the A2 old timer hmm. demo take. So let's start from the beginning. Are you ready? Get your violin in playing position. And remember, we have a one bar count off. Let's begin. It will play now. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and three. Oh. <laughs> we forgot 
about the back in craft, right? Oh, I'll play it here <laughs> one more time, okay? Let's try that. Here we go. Oh, we were supposed to play it here. From the ABRSM initial oh, violin 2024. Well, here are a few guys you can look at. Oh, you can just search that up. There will be different accompaniments that you can use. I will share these with you. Okay? So, good luck in your practice and happy playing. Oh, I hope. Oh, two. I'll see you next time. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. And I'll try to get to them. Okay? Well done. Oh, thank you for listening. Happy playing and practicing. <laughs>